My name is Chris Whipple. I'm Emma. My name is Moiba. My name is Jeremy. Have you ever felt like you just couldn't be yourself? Like it'd be easier if you were someone else. Is there a voice inside your mind that reminds you all the time the ways you're broken? Has it left you hopeless? It can be a hard, hard thing just being alive. It can be a dark, dark thing when you're trying to hide. What am I? It's hard because it's like there's there's what you are and there's what you want to be. An artist. I see myself as a confident person. I am someone or something that is desperately diving to the depths of who I could be. What I am is just an imperfect human being. Like that's just going to be who I am for the rest of my life. Every story, every sky. care too much about certain things that I shouldn't care about, like acceptance of others. Just because I'm younger doesn't mean I haven't lived life or gone through stuff. It's hard, like bullying, I got bullied pretty severely in school and I found out I was diagnosed with anxiety and I have ADHD, so that isn't fun. <laughs> inconsistency. Um, inconsistency with, and that covers a, a myriad of things. Um, how, how, how I am with uh, with, with my wife being always uh, giving 100% of myself, you know, because I, I, I value marriage, I value the relationship I have, but um, I'm inconsistent. I have this insecurity in what, in like this idea that what I have to give, like what comes from me is not good enough. Anybody told you that you'd never be enough? Has anybody told you that you'd never measure up? Are you just trying to escape, trying to run from all the pain of being human? Can you make I was to that place where, you know, I, I wanted, I, I could have done something to myself because of what I experienced and everybody would have been like, well, I understand because he had that and he had that. He had these reasons to take his own life or whatever. And I'd like to be a reason where people don't do that. If I want anything to be said of my life, it is that that's what I promoted till, until I was gone is that everything 
that has been created has a purpose and it's significant. You're worthy no matter if you get out of the bed once in that day. Like you're still, you're still worthy and you're still um, worthy of love and worthy of being appreciated. And I hope that would be my legacy is people feeling loved and enough. <laughs> if you feel like you're this, be that. If you feel like you're supposed to say something, you should probably say it. If you feel like whatever, just trust the passion that you have inside. And if other people don't get it, it's either A, they're jealous or they don't get it. And that doesn't mean you should stop. If God made me and he's proud of what he made and he thinks it's beautiful, then to me, insecurity is me doubting that he did it right. I hope that they would feel worthy of who they are. I hope that they would feel seen and that they would feel like, <laughs> I don't know, that it's okay, that they're gonna be okay. I'd like to be a reason where people don't do that. That was pretty good. I just, I didn't, I didn't even plan that. That's pretty good. You like that? that was it's pretty good. Wow. Can I get a copy of it? That was pretty good. That was real, too. <laughs> I'm thankful for the creativity that is inside me. And I'm thankful for how deep I think the well might be. I'm, I'm 34 years old, and I'm finally allowing myself to be me.